I see me post about the rose quartz. This is a stone that is vibrates on a very high frequency of love. So I keep that by me at all times. I sleep with my um, rose quartz. I know a lot of people think that that's crazy, but that's just a part of my journey. So whenever you get there, it's okay. Now we are in a very a shift again we are going through a shift right now and the best thing to do at this divine moment of time is not to fear but to prepare now i went on here i came on here uh maybe about like i said a couple months ago and i talked about this i talked about how you guys have been posting things about how you need to prepare uh i posted stuff about the colloidal silver um i posted things about um um, you know how to prepare you know for this shift how to for the disaster preparedness I know I have not done the disaster preparedness course yet but spirit has not led me to do that because I don't want to be pushing fear like a lot of these people are doing right now to push fear we do have to go through this shift you guys I didn't realize that it was going to come like this but it is a shift that we are going to go through and we have to make sure we prepare ourselves mind body soul and spirit this shift that we are going through is causing a lot it's going to cause a lot of people that are not awakened that are not consciously awakened to the truth of what's going on it's going to cause these people to be in fear but like i said there's no need to fear all you need to do is prepare now a lot of people are running out here going out here and getting these masks and things like that but I've been had my mask. I've had my mask. I've had my oregano oil. That's another thing you need to make sure you get up on. That's um, a very um, high potent natural herb that would help with your immune system. So go get you some oregano oil. Go get you some different herbs that you can use to boost your immune system. Okay. That's the key to all of this. This virus stuff is... Um, making sure that um you just keep your immune system high now and now one of the things that i wanted to explain about you keeping your immune system high is one thing you want to make sure that your vibration is high because when your vibration is low and your immune system is low it's the same thing it's a lower vibrational frequency so you want to make sure that your, your vibration is at a very high frequency so whatever you need to do to keep your vibration at a high frequency you need to do that at this moment because if your immune if your vibration gets low your immune system is gonna get low and then you can be incepted by these large um dark i call them large dark entities that are going on right now with this virus okay now another way that this um another way that this virus virus can um affect you is by um by you like i said lowering your vibration and you also just being able to um not staying aware of what's going on okay everybody is aware don't get caught up in watching all of that media stuff that media will lower your vibration um you know you, everybody's not into crystals and things like i am um but you know burn you some candles listen to high vibrational music oh what i was trying to say and get to before i got off charts was um making sure that you don't do anything too excessively okay so that could be drinking smoking or anything like that trust me i do it too i'm not gonna sit on here and try to come on here and try to like make it like i'm so holy thou art because i am not but you want to make sure that you when you do this you're doing it in moderation because what happens is like i've been preaching to the choir is when you are at a very very low vibration um, when you're doing anything too excessively, it could be sex, it could be alcohol, it could be drugs, anything that you're doing on excessively, it could lower your vibration. The key to fighting this off, because it's about to get really ugly, you guys, okay? I have intel, I have people... Um, it's about to get really, really ugly, and we already know that it's... it's this. See, the thing is, this virus ain't just started, okay? I have people... I've been on this since before they even announced it, okay? I knew then that there were cities in China that has been empty for over months now. You know, it's no coincidence that, you know, all of a sudden, you know, that this virus comes out. These people have been here, you guys. Now, what's happening is this virus is starting to circulate because the fear is causing it to actually grow as well. 
okay people are going around doing all this other stuff you just want to make sure at this moment that you stay very high vibrational at this moment you know stay in your heart center stay in love don't be around anything that's going to lower your vibration at this moment. Stay positive. That's the key. I say it's my slogan is staying positive, staying strong, and staying the course. Those are your main things. You know, there's a lot of people out here. I'm not judgmental by, by far, but certain things that I do know because I am an intuitive reader. So I can read energy and I can feel energy. I'm an empath, so I can feel energy very, very, very well. So make sure that you are staying yourself in a very high vibrational frequency and you're staying positive and you're staying strong because there's nothing can affect you when you're on a higher frequency. When you're on a very high frequency, there's nothing can touch you. There's no type of energies that can affect you in any way. Hey, sis. So make sure, like I said, I've mentioned this about this coronavirus for a long time, you guys. I've been making videos. You guys are not paying attention to what things. I'm not just sitting here. I don't. Try, I don't care to get on here and try to make a show for people. I do these things because I love people and I am trying to help people. You have to make sure that you, the key to um, beating this virus, because it's about to get ugly. Like I said, it's about to get ugly. It's staying in a vibrational frequency that is very high, okay? You want to make sure that your immune system is very good, okay, at this moment. So, doing things to make yourself vibrate on a higher frequency because the lower your frequency is the lower you will be able to be um incepted by this virus okay so you want to make sure that you're staying positive you're staying strong you're doing things that's going to better yourself and and help raise your vibration whether it's dancing i like to do a lot of vibration and my sweetie likes to work out a lot you know, um, you know, taking little quick, you know, little short vacations, doing the things that you love, moving in alignment with what your soul purpose is. That's the key. I see a lot of this on my timeline now, and I'm so grateful that I can see that a lot of people that I am surrounded by, I can tell that we are on the same like you, Victoria. We are on the same timeline. It's because you are moving in alignment with what your soul purpose is. And that is what we need to do as a collective. God is preparing us to help these people that are out here that are lost, that are not consciously aware of what's going on. They're getting into these fear tactics. There's a lot of fear mongering going on, okay? That is one of the reasons why I have not done the disaster preparedness course that I talked about a month ago because I don't want to push that fear. What I want to do is push love, make sure that people are staying in their heart center, making sure that people are moving in alignment with what their soul purpose is, making sure that I'm teaching people how to manifest. These are the, these are the things that I live by, and I can teach these things because I have living proof that I do these things on a daily basis. So me and my family decided that we are actually going to go on a vacation this weekend. We were actually going to go somewhere else, but we decided to go to a place that's very, very peaceful. It's a place that I normally go to. You guys are going to see when I go there, but this is a place that I go to on a continuous basis, especially when I feel like there's a shift going on. I go there to get certain downloads in different spaces spirit can talk to me in different ways when I go to this place. So I'm so excited. I will be posting about that. Um, again, you know, make sure that you're staying positive. You know, you're staying strong. You know, I'm so grateful for my new page. My new page, I do have a new page. I did get frustrated. <laughs> I am human too, you guys. I ain't gonna try to make it like I'm so, oh, love life fairy all the time. No, 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 no. <laughs> I am a balance of the two. I can be feisty too. Everybody knows me. But one thing you can't say about me is that I'm fake. You know, I might say some little things or say this and that sometimes, but at the end of the day, I am who I am and I am Demi. And I am D, as you guys know me from back home. And I'm grateful for where I am in my soul purpose. And I am a living testimony. I am a way shower. I am showing people the way. I am showing whether you're not receiving it at this moment because a lot of things that I talk to is very, um, on a very higher consciousness everybody don't understand the things that i talk about and it's okay but you will eventually you know so you don't have to be receptive to some of the things that i say i just went on to geo's live video geo tindall and she was talking about i love you too sis oh 
I'm in this loving vibration today, and I'm doing this because I love everybody. I really do. I want to see everybody do good. I want to see people moving in the things that they love and just just making amazing live videos like you did this morning, um, uh, Victoria. And also, Jill made an amazing. It blesses me because it touches my heart to see it's the tears that we have been t crying about for the last couple of days these are our tears of joy these are tears of release C crying is a great thing to do never feel like you weak because you're crying crying is crying is a great way to release the things out of your body it could be anything negative it could be anything positive it's just a way of releasing so i want to mention that i went on um i just jumped on spirit when well, with spirit I, i'm quiet a lot of time i'm very introvert i don't really deal with a lot of people because i'm very empathic and i can feel things and i can and and pick up on energies and things like that so i try not to be around certain things too much you know because it, it can get very very overwhelming to me so I went on Jill's live today and it just touched my heart because I knew the message that I sent to her was meant for her. I knew that she probably wouldn't receive it at that time, at that divine moment of time when I sent it to her. But I knew at the end of the day that she would receive that message in divine timing. See, this is what we have to operate in. We have to operate in divine timing. Just because something is not happening for you right now, it does not mean that it's not going to happen for you. We are co-creators of this universe. We are able to create. We are able to do the things that are so amazing that we could only imagine. Our minds are so powerful, you guys. And so that's why it's very important that we move in alignment with what our soul purpose is. But at the end of the day, I sent a message to her and I knew spirit says when spirit talks to me or downloads information to me, I'm quiet most of the time. So, um, yes, I understand that when spirit talks to me and I have to deliver a message, I have to do it in divine timing. You know, I have to do it when spirit tells me I can't hold back and get in fear and be afraid to share what spirit is telling me to tell people. People be thinking I'm halfway crazy when I give them messages or, you know, uh, whatever the case may be. They probably think I'm crazy, but I already know that it's going to eventually you know, they will be consciously aware to be able to receive it later, okay? So this message that I received, I actually gave to Jill, was so amazing. And I'm grateful. This was back in December when I left her that message, okay? In her DM, Spirit said, send her a message. And I did. I left that message in her DM. And it, it's what is, it's March. And she's just now downloading it as an activation code to her spirit man she's receiving it now now she's walking into that what i spoke into her life and see that's what happens when you speak things into life we speak life like she said speak life into people i love you so much sis i love you i know I know, but people think that, you know, and I'm okay with, you know, I don't really, I'm a type of person now where I really don't care what people think at this moment. I know what I came here to do. I know that one of my missions here on earth is to share what the vibration of love is. This is why my business is called Infinite Love Vibrations. Infinite, meaning forever. Love, staying in, the vib in, in love and vibrating with this all together will never stop never ever ever stop love will continue to be infinite and vibrate at a higher frequency so i just wanted to go on here and i just wanted to say to jill thank you so much for sharing that message today and i am so grateful that i am a part of your journey i'm so grateful that you are a part of my journey and i'm so grateful that you was able to receive that message you released what happened was spirit you listened 
you listen to your intuition. And when you listen to that intuition, you got that down though. And it instantly came in through your crown chakra and went down into your heart and you felt it. And you knew that it was a message for you. So Jill, whenever you watch this video later, I'm grateful that you are. Oh my God, you on it now. Oh God, I didn't even see you jump on this video, Jill. And to just now, oh my God. <sighs> see how spirit works? See what I'm saying? I can't lie. I can't lie about this, guys. This is real stuff. I was mentioning, Jill, that the message that you received today was it meant for you to receive it back in December. I had to get on here and go live and talk about this. Everything happens in divine timing. That message came in for you today at the right time. And you said that, you know, um, you didn't receive it at that time, but it wasn't meant for you to receive it at that time. That message that you received to when you whenever you did receive that download, it came through through your crown chakra and it went all the way down. It went through your throat chakra. You seen it through your third eye. It went through your throat chakra and then it went into your heart. And now you're feeling it with this unconditional, overwhelming feeling of unconditional love. You have received that. So my message to you today, Queen, is to tell you that you continue to move in alignment with what your soul purpose is. Don't stop. Keep going. What is for you is for you. What is not for you is not going to be in alignment with your vibration. Nothing that is on a lower vibration. They can talk about you. They can say whatever they want to. You can continue to share your nuggets of information. Just like I shared nugget of information to you, you continue to share your nugget of information because they may not receive it right now. But trust and believe in divine timing. They will. They will. That's why I'm continuing. I was so frustrated and ready to give up this page. I started a new page, as you guys can see. That's going to be my spiritual page. Oh, my God. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, Jill, really? You're infinite? Wow. <laughs> so... I started that page because I was so frustrated with people not really listening or hearing what I had to say on the messages that I share on the daily messages, the, the, the content that I do share on this page. I was frustrated. I'm opening it up and I'm sharing today because at the end of the day, it's not meant for everybody to hear what you have to say at that divine moment of time. I am learning that. But trust and believe. This shift that we are about to go through, okay? Remember I said this, you guys, for those who are watching now and those who are going to be watching this video later. This shift that we are about to go through, this coronavirus is doing a lot of shifting in a lot of ways, okay? It's going to shake people up, cause people to get in fear. It's going to cause people to man up and move in alignment with what their sole purpose is so they can help with this shift because it's about to get ugly, okay? We have to make sure that we are properly aligned to the vibration of our soul's purpose. You didn't come here just to be. You have missions that you have to complete. You have things that you have to align yourself to. You have people that you have to bless and trust and believe. The people that hate you on the back end, they are going to be the ones that's going to be coming for you, for your assistant during this shift. Okay? So... Get in alignment, you guys. Get in alignment with what your soul purpose. Do not move in the vibration of fear. Move in the vibration of love. Tap into your gifts. Tap into what it is that God allowed you to do while you're here on this planet. Don't, don't, a lot of people don't believe in reincarnation and things like that. I'm not going to go there. But at the end of the day, don't put yourself in a predicament where you have to repeat this cycle all over again. Especially when you pretty much aware of what it is that you have to do but you're fearful because you're scared of what somebody else is gonna think it's not them they are not going to help you move to that okay they may teach you a lesson in the process but at the end of the day it's not up to everybody else or what your soul purpose is your soul purpose has to do with you okay Make sure that you are doing what you need to do. Make sure that you stay in the vibration of love. That is what God is. I made a video. It's funny that you said that, Jill. I made a video about this a couple of weeks ago. Who and what is God? 
And I talked about how important it is to move in the vibration of love. God is not some entity that sits up in the sky. God is an energy that dwells within us, dwells within our heart chakra. That's what Jesus was too, an energy of vibration of love that dwells within. Now, Jesus may have been a human. He came in a human figure. But let me tell you about what I know about Jesus. I've studied the word, okay? Now, I ain't too big on everything that the Bible says. But, you know, I ain't here to debate that. But I can tell you this one thing that I do know, that God is love. And I can definitely tell you that... um. Oh, (laughs) that God is love. And Jesus was a prime example of what every different religion practice or uh, spiritual belief has a significant person to come and show you an example of what we're supposed to be doing to raise the vibration of this planet. People ain't peeping that. People are slipping on simple things. There's a lot of people out here that are religious. They want to go out here and say, oh, I'm an I'm apostle. Oh, I'm this and that. But are you really living it? That's the key. That's why I don't care about being ordained. Yes, I will. I, I will. I'm this close. And I'm going to go ahead and make the announcement now because I really don't care because I'm, I'm already in it. I am a couple days or so in my certification as a life coach. Spirit said, I have to break out of this fear to teach people. I am a spiritual teacher. I knew that when I was deep into religion then. But I am sitting back, working on myself, doing that healing work. Not sitting here just trying to sweep it underneath the rug or trying to project my energy on people. Yes, God is love. That's what it is. God is not some entity sitting up in the sky, you guys. If you want to say anything that's an entity, you would definitely say earth. Sorry, you guys. People, somebody was calling in. Earth. So, I encourage someone today to move in a vibration. Thank you, Jill. I am going to be certified as a law of attraction and life coach, spiritual life coach. And I am so grateful, but I took on this responsibility. I've been doing this for a long time, but it was meant spirit laid on my heart that I had to make sure that I have to have something on my back to show people this is what I do. This is what I've been doing. Whether people really recognize what you're doing or not, still do it. So um, I want to mention that. So I want to encourage someone today to make sure that you move in alignment what your soul purpose is. Thank you, sis. Make sure that you are staying positive as much as possible because there are light workers like me and there are light warriors like Jill and like Victoria on this live today. We have to balance those energy. Jill can be the most loving person in the whole wide world. Victoria can be the most loving person in the whole wide world. But there is a balance. When you come for them, oh, they coming with them swords with like Archangel Michael. Okay? They coming to slay. What? And that's how I am. My energy is not to try to stay like that all the time. I understand my balance. Okay? Everything is balanced, yin and yang. When we understand to balance in life, things are so much better. I had to learn it the hard way. Spirit kept showing me signs for months. I kept saying, <laughs> what you laughing at, Victoria? <laughs> I'm just saying I'm being real. For months, I kept saying, people be thinking the the um the number 666 is a bad number. But in actuality, six you These numbers are angel numbers. You're seeing these numbers for a reason. Six is the number of balance. I kept seeing that number for a long time. And I kept wondering, like, why am I seeing this number? So one one day, Spirit says, go look it up. And so I went to go look it up. And look, I'm burning my candle right now. Okay? I'm going to talk about that later and, and ways that burning candles can help people people slipping on that too they burning candles people talk bad about magic this is magic okay 
people talk bad about magic, but they don't realize how powerful we are as co-creators. Of We're working magic every day. We're putting spells on people every day by the things that we say. We have to make sure we get reprogram our minds to get out of this mindset of the things that we were taught all this time. We are moving out of that, you guys. We are moving out of the age of Pisces. We are moving in the age of Aquarius, which is 5D, which is the higher vibration of Christ consciousness. As you heard me say, Christ consciousness, meaning being able to think the way Christ did, moving the vibration of love like Christ did. Sorry, you guys, I do get um, off course sometimes when I'm talking but I'm speaking and spirit downloads the information to me I start to channel the message and that's what I'm doing today so I encourage everybody that watch this video now or if you watch this video later to stay in love do not fear what's going on on the outskirts about this this uh Yes, Victoria, the age of Aquarius. Do you guys remember that song? This is the days of the age of Aquarius. They're talking about that. that. That's what they were talking about. That's what we're moving into. We're creating new earth. We're being able to make sure that we are doing the things that we love. We're moving in alignment with what our soul purpose is. Learning to love people, not judge as much as we, we should. Being able to operate in our authentic selves without having to worry about what someone else thinks. If you want to go wear a little tight skirt down the street, <laughs> don't get me started, y'all. Wear your tight skirt. I heard somebody today, one of my YouTubers, you know, I listen to a lot of her content, but at the end of the day, she's very judgmental, you know. She was talking about, you know, people, you know, wearing this weed. And I, I listen, I've in, been in the hair business for over 20-something years. I've been a licensed cosmetologist for over 20-something years. And I love my weave. And I'm going to continue to wear my weave, okay? Now, I got pretty hair. I don't cut, wear my weave because I'm um, um, low self-esteem because of my hair. I have beautiful hair. I wear my hair out from time to time, but I don't have the energy to wake up and try to do that crap every day. So I put my little braids in, I wear my little tracks, and I wear my little, you know, wigs. So that's my thing. So the key to what I'm saying today is just moving the vibration of love. I'm listening to high frequency music right now. That's a great way to raise your vibration. Listen to 528 Hertz. 528 Hertz is a very high vibrational music. I'm going to let you guys hear this is what I listen to all day. I don't watch the news. As a matter of fact, it's 222 as we speak. Look. How many go to it? Uh, I'm going to see if you guys can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, we're at 223 now. See the synchronicities? It was 222. Go look up what 2 If you're on this video now, go look up what the significance of 222 is. This message was for you today. Go look up, write it down right now, and go, when I talked about it, 222, go look up what 222 was for you. It was a message for you. That message was for you. So, um, I'm listening to 528. This is what I listen to. I don't watch the news. The only reason why I know about some of the things is coronavirus is because I'm on social media a lot. I do a lot of business on um, social media. And so, I listen to... Um, I see those things that's going on through that and through, you know, me being on doing a lot of personal development and researching and things like that. I listen to 528s. I also listen to 432 hertz, which is the healing vibration. So if you're in a situation, I like to meditate in the water. When I meditate, I take my spiritual baths. I take those, those quite often, especially me being an empath. Um, I take spiritual baths quite often. So I meditate while I'm in my bath with my candles around me, with my crystals on the edge of my bath. And I listen to four, like uh, during the full moon, which we, I want to talk about that next. We have a full moon coming up on the 9th. Now, whether this resonates with you now or it resonates with you later, the moon is not up there just sitting up in the sky. The moon goes through a phase. We have full moon, new moon, crescent, 
this is not no coincidence, you guys. This is not something I'm just saying just to be talking and waste my energy. I'm sharing these things because these are knowledgeable things that I have been living by for years. This is nothing I'm just starting to do, okay? Now, full moons, like I tell everybody, full moons are for a great time to release the things that no longer serve you. Now, you may have some things. It could be doubt. It could be fear. It could be shame. It could be jealousy. Whatever it is, take advantage of the energy of the full moon. So what I do as an empath is I quite often take my salt baths. I take I put salt, Epsom salt in my bath water because what the Epsom salt does is it clarifies your auric field. We all, as human beings, have an energetic aura field. Okay, and sometimes certain things uh, will it will make it kind of weak. So you'll get incepted by certain things. But when your aura field is strong, it can't nothing penetrate. It's like your macarba. So whenever you want to go research that, you can too. But full moons is a great time release. What I normally do is get in my spiritual baths around that time, and I release. I cry. I cry out to God, I pray, I meditate, you know, I think about, you know, I I release my ego and say, you know what, God, this is what I need to work on. This is some things that I know I need to work on. I ask, I call upon Archangel Michael because Archangel Michael is no joke. When you call his name and trust me, he will come. Any of the angels of the highest vibration, they will not come unless you call upon them. Okay. It's just like if you call on Jesus, Jesus ain't going to be, you know. You got to call upon them. They, you are a sovereign being. You, this we have been on this planet is we have free will. So any energies or any type of entities or any spirits can't come in and incept in anything without your authority. Okay, then now they can be mischievous, and I'm, I'm not saying Jesus or any other. I'm just saying like dark energies or dark spirits can come in and incept. If they can be mischievous when you ain't on your game, you're not discernful, you're not intuitive, you're not really uh, doing all this wild, dark stuff, okay? So that's a way. But like I said, let me get back to me getting in my spiritual baths. I get in my spiritual baths, and I just close my eyes, and I listen to this music here, and I put my my two cups of sea salt. You can use sea salt, Epsom salt. I use lavender oil. I even use my... um, Florida water. Florida water is a very high vibrational cologne that's been a long, been around for a long time. I put that in my bath water. And I take my spiritual baths and I release. So when you cry, you're releasing. You got to understand we have a DNA and things come um, that we've dealt with over time are stored in our DNA. So, in order to reprogram that, affirmations are good, visual visualizations are good speaking those things calling them out casting them out is ways to release so like me for instance um what was it um was it last month i still i'm still working on this fear thing of me getting out here speaking and talking about the things that i've been through i'm working on that and i'm okay to talk about it because I'm at least I'm consciously aware of that's something that I need to work on. Getting out here, speaking more, talking about the things that I desire. Uh, for those who know, I I purposely have I just started my Invisalign. I've been on my Invisalign now for like a week or two now. So these are my Invisalign, and I have to wear the, these at night. And one of the reasons why I decided to wear them at night is so I can start working on my speech development and start being able to go out here and speak. Without being fearful of what somebody else is going to think of me. Because I've dealt with that. And there are a lot of us have dealt with that majority of our lives. But I get in my bath and I release these things. I call this fear. I call you forth. Fear. I command you and to leave my mind, body, soul, and spirit. And this fear is going to leave eventually. Because the more I continue to call it forth and see it for what it is, it's going to leave. So I command it to leave. Archangel Michael, when I feel like it's too tough for me, Archangel Michael, I'll call his name, I invoke his energy, and I ask him to come and help me with his sword, cut that energetic cord of fear. 
And these are some of the things that I teach some of my, my clients on um, ways to um, guidance to help with certain things. Thank you, Dad. Yeah, but I still get very fearful sometimes. I'm not even gonna lie, cause I could go. I have a lot. I'm work from home, so you know I could go in here and be going live a little bit more than I do, and put myself out there. But I don't. I'm just starting to rebrand my page up on Instagram, and that's I have 18k followers. Those are not fake followers. A lot of times they love my content, but I don't engage with my clients as much as I should. Or my followers, I need to learn how to engage more. So, just sitting back watching Jill and Victoria and a whole bunch of other people that are on here inspires me to go live, you know, and just be open to be able to speak the things um, about these things. Um, but I get into my bath and I release the things that no longer serve me. Now, during the new moons, new moon is a different energy. New moons are for, as you can see, new, new, being able to create, being able to manifest, uh, create the things that you want, be able to manifest the things that you desire. And these are some, I am coming up with some things right now that I'm working on, but I'm waiting till I finishly complete my, um, my certification so I can be able to uh, come up with some of the things to teach people this and I have visuals and have proof to show people that manifestation is real I have proof to show people that you know during these certain times like I'm talking about now new moon is a perfect time which we have a new moon our new moon is actually going to be on the 24th of March we have the full moon on the 9th the, the new moon is going to be on, um, like I said, the 24th of March. So take advantage, if anybody's watching this video later, take advantage of the energy of the new moon, okay, which is coming up. That's when I like to do a lot of my manifestation work is during that time. So what I do too, I take my spiritual baths, I script I write things down. I write in my journal some things that I want to manifest. And I do this every month until I manifest the things that I desire. And I go back and I watch and I see the things that um, I manifest. I manifested my retreat in California. I did not know that I was going to be able to manifest doing that. But I took myself out of that fear and said, you know what? I'm going to do this. I can do this. I am going to do this. See, these are some of the affirmations that I have to speak and remind myself and reprogram my mind that I can do them. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. So these are some of the affirmations that I speak. Um, and like this is my journal here. I have several journals. This is my manifestation and creation projects journal. And then I also have uh, my Infinite Love Vibrations journal. And so I write things in here. And I take pictures of the things that um, I manifest. And I write them down. And I'll go back and I'll watch. And as I manifest them, I just kind of like, you know, scratch it off of my thing. So, yeah. So this is something I grew up wanting to be. And you know, I've always been into fashion. I've always been into... Um, I've always been big into, you know, fashion and beauty and things like that. I've always been into women's empowerment. This is something I've been doing all my life. Being able to do those women's hair and, and help them has been something that I've always did in my life. And so, you know, now I'm moving fully into this. I've always wanted to be into dancing and, and just being an influencer. And, the, and I manifested that too, being an online influencer. I'm not a celebrity. But I am an influencer on social media, on Instagram, and a lot of people look up to me. And I'm so grateful that I'm able to help as many people as I do. But like I said, I'm working on just learning how to get on here and get on my Instagram page and just to be able to engage more often. And I'm grateful for that. But like I said, you guys, I just really want to, I know I went left a little bit but my man had several things that I wanted to talk about today and one of them was just making sure that we keep our immune systems high which is making sure that we keep our energetic vibrations on a higher frequency so can't no coronavirus mess with you okay 
and stay out of fear, but make sure you're prepared. Make sure you have plenty of water, um, you know, have some war games because, um, you know, the stock market is going to crash. Take your money out of the bank as much as possible and um, get, you know, as much. Um... Oh, I do. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am dad. <laughs> But uh, take, you know, at least keep at least between a thousand to five hundred dollars of cash on you because if anything happens and you know they try to quarantine, which they are going to try to do, they try to quarantine everybody. Um, you know, you want to have that cash on hand. So if you need to jump ship, you got to jump ship. You know, have a plan, uh, make sure that you have an exit. You know, if you decide you want to bunker in, because this is what's going to happen, they're going to try to. This is something they've been planning for a long time. So I don't know why people are so shocked. They already knew that they were trying to create new world order for a long time. This is something they've been doing for a long time. And this is something they're going to try to do what they're going to try to do but it's not going to work out fully because then this is going to teach us as human beings is that we have to get out of this judgment we have to get out of this separation you know whether you know what religion you are whether you're um christian or you're muslim or you're hindu Anytime you're into any type of religion or practice that's teaching you to hate the other one and not believe in what they believe in, then that's a part that's a part of separation. God didn't teach us to separate. God is teaching us to understand that we need to move in in unity. And that's what love is. Moving in, moving, in, moving in unity. Teaching them about what you know. Letting them teach you about what they experience and what they know. That's what we have to do. We have to learn how to be able to coexist with one another on this planet, no matter what color you are, no matter what you believe in, being able to coexist with one another so we can love and raise the vibration and get these dark demons off this planet. And so that's what this shift is going to do. This shift is going to teach people to... Stop worrying about all this other stuff. People are worrying about the wrong damn thing. You're worrying about this. I, listen, I ain't even going to go. That's a whole nother subject about that voting stuff. You know, I ain't going to go there. I'm not even going to go there today because that's a very touchy subject. And a lot of people believe. And listen, I ain't hating on nobody that goes out there and vote. But I don't vote. I personally don't vote. And I have personal reasons why I don't vote. And I understand on a spiritual level why I don't vote. Yes, we it's part of our privilege and things like that, you know. But at the end of the day, when you on a certain frequency, on a spiritual realm, on a conscious level, you will see, like, all of this crap that they've been doing in the government, they fake is crap. It really is. And so, it really don't make a difference of who you freaking vote, vote for at the end of the day because they're going to make who they want to be the president anyway. You know, how you think Trump got in the office now? It's a lot It's a lot of stuff on the back end that people don't know about. And so, my job is to just bring and share my journey and to um, make people aware of what I know and share what I know. And if, you, if it doesn't resonate, it just does not resonate with you, okay? I'm not in here trying to have a debate with you of what you believe and what you don't believe. The key is to stay in the vibration of love and learn how to coexist with one another no matter what they believe in, whether they're deep into politics, whether they're deep into religion, whether they're deep into spirituality, they're deep into science, astrology, astronomy, so that whatever it is, the key is to make sure that we are in the vibrational alignment with source creator God. And we are learning how to heal from within. Because it starts within and then it goes out. When we learn how to heal and stop sweeping our pain and what we done been through in our lives. When we stop sweeping this stuff underneath the rug and deal with it head on. That's when you heal faster. 
So I'm about to jump off of here. I wanted to make this quick live. Hey, sis. I wanted to make this quick live and just talk about, you know, um, take advantage of this full moon energy that's coming up on the 9th. Release the things that no longer serve you. Get ready for your people that's been really doing that work like you, Candace. Been doing that work, you know. Take advantage of this energy because your blessings are on the way. They are right there. They are right there, you guys. We are co-creators. We are made in his image. Sorry, I'm red. That's not a hickey. I'm just, I'm real red like that, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to put this video up on my YouTube channel. So they're going to be laughing at me. <laughs> I don't care though. But um, yeah. Your blessings are on the way. Don't you give up. You keep going and going and going. Don't risk, don't don't worry about if they're not liking your videos. You know, I had to. That was one thing that bothered me a long time ago too. Is, you know. But I'm, one thing I am going to share today is. If, you know, I deal with a people, certain people to a certain extent. Just because you love somebody don't mean you got to like them. That just means that you're not on that same vibrational frequency as them. You don't have to like them to love them. You can love them at a distance. But I am not, by any means, going to exchange any energy with anyone that is not exchanging that same energy back to me. You can call it selfish if you want to, but it is what it is. I'm not dealing with anybody that is not exchanging some type of energy back with me. I'm not going to have people, you know, think they're going to sit here and try to play me. So I'm very intuitive. I can tap onto what people be doing. People be thinking they think they can try to play me, but they really can't. I can see straight through it. And i am been uh going through a fast so when i fast like that oh my god my intuition skyrockets so it it, it, it sometimes bothers me to see people um <laughs> yes i'm in teacher mode today <laughs> it bothers me sometimes to see people that are out here and you call these type of people service to self individuals. These are the people that only care about what they can get out of something. They don't reciprocate that same energy. They rather just take take these energy vampires. That's what they are, you know. And it's okay that you want to have people out here that are, I love when people see see people doing good, you know. And I give when spirit tells me to, to give. But when I see it's not being reciprocated, honey, see, I sow my seeds. I do what I'm supposed to do. That's why I stay blessed. I stay blessed because I sow my seeds. But I cut off people real quick when I see that they are not reciprocating that same energy back. So if you're one of them people and you're watching this live video and I've sowed into you and sowed into you and I'm sowing in you and you ain't sowing it back. You won't be in, on my page long. Trust me. I'll see straight through you. You really, I really ain't. My, 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 my uh, purpose is to make sure I stay in people's lives a certain. I'm only, you're not meant to be in everybody's life for a certain amount. Sometimes it's not meant for you to be in certain individuals' lives for only a season. And I'm okay with that. I did what I need to do. If you want to just keep taking, 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 and people wonder why they don't they don't be blessed. Because it's a universal law. When you give, you're gonna receive. And this is what I try to explain to all of my women in my group. I try to tell everybody, like, listen, don't be afraid. Everybody, some people are introvert, and I understand that. But don't be afraid to share a post. Don't be afraid to go on here, um, go in there and go live. It's okay. You just don't know. Who might receive that message and it blesses them? And then, then, boom, boom, you done sold a seed into that person's life. And then here you come right back around. That blessing that you sold into somebody's life is coming right back around, back to you. Boomerang. Quick. Because we, we are in quick manifestation times at this moment. So, I am love. I am you. I am you and you are me. I am love. And love is the highest, highest, highest vibration there is. And when we move in the vibration of love, fear can't touch us. So my message for you today, and I'm done after this. 
stay in a vibration of love. Do the things that you love. Move in alignment with what your soul purpose is. Don't fear. Prepare. Keep yourself aware of everything at all times. And know that God got you. Not God's entity sitting up in the sky now. God loves. Okay? So, alright you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing day full of love and light. And stay positive. Stay strong. And stay the course. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this message blesses someone today. Because I channeled some amazing nuggets today. If you if, if it resonated with you, so be it. If it doesn't, so be it. It will in divine timing. <laughs> so, all right, you guys. Love y'all. Peace.